This is definitely our field of dreams. There's no other way to put it. Let's go. Let's go. Ki o rahi. For the goalposts, a majestic slab of nature. For the field markings, rows of blooms. And if they want to pick the flowers during the game, that's fine. <laughs> Take them home. And for those who have carved, sculpted and nurtured this, a satisfied, warm glow. I see love. It's all about love. And if you love something, you know, you'll work hard for it. That toil and dedication making this the country's showpiece ground for a traditional sport dating back generations. This is a good news story for Waitangi. Usually here, you know, radicals and chucking mud and stealing flags. But this is a good news story. This needs to get out. It's all about having fun. fun. That's it's not right. about winning. Or... Yeah, it's not about winning, it's about having fun. Hand tying each individual stick that you see here, it's just been a good vibe. I personally have never sat down with someone and tied a fence. It's beautifully authentic. Thank you. Thank you. Are you going to have fun today, kids? Yes! yes. And you're not allowed to be cheeky. Yeah. You're ball. not allowed to be cheeky. The field within ball throwing distance of the Waitangi Treaty Grounds intended to give new life to the game here. The very game that's thriving in France and Italy, having been introduced by the legendary 28th Māori Battalion during the Second World War. Two teams and they both score differently. One team basically they're trying to throw the ball at the rock in the centre of the field and that's how they collect points for that team. The other team are trying to accumulate points by touching the pole. As soon as you've touched at least one, you're going to try and run and score a try in the centre of the field. Dive, spin, pirouette, <laughs> whatever you do to get across um, the centre line. Nice, well done, well done. Which in this case is the flower line. The flower line, yeah, <laughs> it's pretty cool. Everybody's got it in them. Just the knowledge of how to play, so that's all it takes. When you play tackle you get quite hurt. We've seen knocked out teachers and broken bones and split noses. I've seen the works from this. <laughs> I've popped, dislocated a knee and two shoulders. If I'm completely honest, before today I'd never even heard of the game. But having come and seen the passion that's gone into this field and the intensity of the play, my overwhelming thought is one of cultural pride. It's beautiful, wonderful. Exciting, dynamic, innovative, you know, all of the above. If you win, you will be... Popular. <laughs> Humble and pretty. <laughs> Humble and pretty. Tahiroa Tori! Tori! Kapai!